Hi all, welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the new Creality N3 S1 Pro and that is this printer over here on the right. The one on the left is the N3 S1. So we'll, so we'll take a look at the new one and then we can then compare it to the old one which is over there. So first of all I've just done a few prints. I haven't done many because you know, print quality wise is going to be near enough the same as the S1. And I've already done a review on the S1. Um, if that's something you're interested in, I will leave a card at the top for you guys to click on so you can have a look. Anyway, let's carry on and have a closer look at the actual S1 Pro itself. Okay, so we'll have a quick look at the test prints first. I didn't go too mad. Just done sort of four basic prints. Just for you guys to have a quick little look at. But as you can see, everything came out flawlessly as usual. No problems here at all whatsoever. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit and get them to focus. There we go, absolutely flawless. Focus on that face as well, yeah. And then printed an astronaut. Now this was printed support free. And as you can see, I haven't really had any issues here at all with part cooling. Everything came out exceptionally well. Another really good quality print. Next up, printed this dragon. It's also printed support free. I really do like this filament. It's very, very shiny. As you can see, the quality is also exceptionally good. Another very good quality print. Last up, we had a Raptor Claw, which also came out exceptionally well. So there were the prints, guys. So now we shall take a closer look at the printer itself. Now, there are a couple of differences between the Pro and the S1. The Pro is slightly more upgraded. Uh, the Pro comes shipped with the Sprite direct drive. Now, this one is actually the full metal direct drive Sprite. Same hot end they fit to the um, CR10 Smart Pro. So, like I say, full metal, capable of reaching temperatures up to about 300 degrees, so about 40 degrees hotter than the standard S1. So that is a nice bonus. Also have the CR Touch installed as well. Now the second upgrade that they have gone for on this model is the touchscreen. Now the standard S1 had the old style rotary, rotary knob, but this time the guys have opted for a touchscreen quite a nice add-on uh, price wise guys this thing retails over here in the UK for about £40 more than what the S1 does so for £40 I would say you're getting quite a lot more printer um, now also other changes they have changed the build plate to this metal textured build plate which is obviously flexible and magnetic as well. I have attached a handle to the build plate. I'm not quite sure why you'd want a handle on there. Um, also, another little upgrade they've done is they have fitted this one with a light bar, which is quite a nice touch, nice LED light bar, exactly the same one that is installed on the I can just move you guys around. You'll see my CR10 Pro Smart just sitting here right beside it. So we have the same build plate, same hot end, 
and the same light bar also installed on that that we have installed on the S, um, S1 Pro. So some nice upgrades straight away. Um, also, just drop you guys down a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. The actual design of the printer itself has slightly changed. Where the S1 had gone for a sort of grey colour, uh, the S1 Pro is all black. We have had a slight snack drawer upgrade. It's, it's grown, which is always a bonus in my eyes. Now the whole bottom part of the printer is covered in plastic. There's a sort of go faster stripes down the side. Apart from that, everything else, apart from the position of the power switch, which is now on the back right, is now enough exactly the same as the S1. Let me see here, if I get a shot of them side by side, you can see that the original S1 is this gray color where the S1 Pro is all black. And like I said, we have got the upgraded LED light bar. We have the full metal direct drive sprite. We do have the touch screen. So if you are looking to buy one of these two printers, I would literally spend the extra, I think it is £40, to go for the S1 Pro to get these upgrades, especially the touch screen. I love to have a touch screen. I find it a lot more easier to use and a lot more user friendly, especially for the new people who are starting out in the um, in the hobby itself. Touch screen is always a lot simpler and a lot easier to use than the rotary style, less in my opinion. That's what I find anyway. All right, guys, so I have just fired the printer up just so I can show you the touch screen. Very simple, very easy to use. You've got all your settings. This is, well, I would say if, if, you, if you've seen the CR10 Pro Smarts layout, this is now enough exactly the same. You've got your other settings up along the top. And then also you've got your settings on the main screen as well. That's also the same for all the other ones. You have your settings up along the top as well. And you've got your print and then your home screen. So very nice touch screen, very nice, bright and clear, easy to see. Just now zoom you guys back out. I have just flicked the LED light on, on top of the printer. So you can see it's actually illuminating the build plate really well. It's very, very bright. And now you can see the light bar, like I say, super bright. Switch on the side so you can turn it on and off. Nice touch as well, because like I said, it really does illuminate your work area. So that is a nice touch. I'm very, very pleased with this printer, actually. Uh, it's a little bit naughty, really, of Crowley bringing out the S1 and then there enough about a month later release another Ender 3 S1 Pro. I find that a bit money grabby personally, in my opinion, why they couldn't have just brought out this one machine. I don't know. I just think that's a little bit naughty of Crowley to do that. Um, yes, these companies need to make their money, but they also need to think about the end user as well and save them some money. Um, but yeah, that's that's another story altogether. So anyway, we've got really exceptionally good print quality. We have got all the standard issues. Issues? Not, not, it's not issues at all, because the, the original what, Ender 3 S1 didn't have any issues. So we've got all this standard equipment that the original Ender S1 had, and then we have got the upgrades on the S1 Pro. So in my eyes, it's definitely worth getting the S1 Pro over the original S1. So then you can print a lot of filaments that needs a lot of higher temperature. Um, that being said, anything that needs that sort of temperature is going to need to have an enclosure. So, you know, then again, it might not be worth it. If you're not planning on really printing anything that needs sort of 300 degrees, um, then maybe save yourself a little bit of cash and just go for the S1. On a side note, if you do decide not to go for the Pro and go for the S1, there's a little bit of a trick that the S1's currently got, and I will show you, but it's going to be in a separate video, but I'll right, just show this you This is that. my S1, you may notice there's something a bit off about it. My bill plate's upside down, and you might be saying, um, where, where's your extruder? 
Well, this is Creality's new laser laser engraving head. So I have gone ahead and set my S1 up for laser engraving. Um, this is an add-on, very, very cheap add-on, and it's a very, very good add-on. Uh, currently, there's only firmware available for the S1 and not the S1 Pro. So that might be another plus point if you want to get in and do a bit of laser engraving. Like I say, this is a very cheap add-on unit. £35 I paid for that. Um, but that's going to be a separate so video. So there we are, guys. That's my quick little review of the S1 Pro. Great little printer. Print quality is amazing. Upgraded extruder and hot end. Uh, upgraded touchscreen. Upgraded snack drawer, which is very, very important for me. Because I do love my snacks. Overall appearance has slightly changed. In my opinion, it looks quite nice. Um... S1 is still a good, good printer. Print quality is near enough exactly the same as the Pro, but I do like the fact you can get the, the like I said, the, like I said, the laser head for the S1. So guys, in my opinion, yes, S1 Pro is a winner. I would definitely recommend buying it, but like I say, if, you, if laser engraving is something that you want to get into, then you are going to have to stick with the S1 for now. So guys, that's it for this one for me for waffling on. I'm trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter at the moment because I'm sure you guys are probably gone by now or asleep. Um, but that's it for me for waffling on for this one. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!